Hello, I'm Seeks97 and today I'm going to show you how to create a CSS, which stands for Creative Cascading Style Sheet, sorry, um, which is basically a, a file which can hold all our uh, information such as background colour, background image, uh, the div tags, so like the columns and stuff, but not, not the info, just like the columns and the layout of our website in just one file, which we can apply to many pages without having to copy and paste that code multiple times and if we want to change something we all have to change that one file that CSS file instead of changing that specific thing on all of our web pages so first I'm going to set up the folder where CSS usually goes so we're going to go to our file manager and inside the main um, the, like the index folder we're going to create a new folder and call it CSS because that's where you usually put it in and now inside this folder we're going to create right click and click new file and I'm going to take everything out including the .html and I'm going to put style.css and if you look at the side it says change, it's changed to a oh sorry only two s's so css it's changed to a cascading style sheet document so now what we need open is this style sheet which is blank and we also need our index.html open ready to move that style code so that was like the body, the container, and all the stuff. Copy all that code, or move all that code to this new style sheet, and make it easier to apply this to more than one web page. So what we're going to do is go to code, and we're going to find where it says style te type text slash CSS, and inside there where it says body, we're going to copy that up to the bit where it says bracket slash style. So don't copy that; just the info information in between it. And we're going to cut. And then we're going to go to our style.css and we're going to paste this in, paste this code in. And if we go into our CSS styles and we click refresh, we can see that the style.css has all our stuff in, so like the container, our header, content, and etc. etc. So now what we can do now on this index.html is remove this style type um, text slash CSS and also this slash style thing. But now we have a problem. On our index.html, you can see all the web pages messed up. Because if you go to CSS styles, there's no styles defined. Because we have to put some code in that links this style.css file to our index.html. So to link this, we need to go inside the head tag. So before the end head tag. And we want to put bracket uh, link. And then we put rel, so which what it's relevant to. And we want to put style sheet. And then we put space and we're going to put href, which means link. And click browse and we're going to go to CSS and select our style.css. And space again and we're going to put type and we're going to use text CSS and then close it. And then hit save. And if you go to design now, you can see that our website has been linked to this correctly. Now, if you've noticed on design, you can see that the background is not there for our content because basically that was an image and we have to correctly link to an image now because this CSS file is in a folder of CSS we need to put some code in that tells the CSS to go back one step to this main index and then go into images so how we do this is to go to our CSS and go to content or we can go to our CSS styles and double click content and then we go to background and images and we can either click browse and relink it or what we have to do at start is put to two dots and slash and then hit apply and that basically says that it needs to go back a step in order to get to this folder images and then to the background so if we click OK and save that and go to index we can see our background has been linked correctly thanks for watching this video if you liked it please like it if you've got any more questions put in the comment section below and please subscribe so that supports me a lot and also check out my friend's channel for awesome gaming when I started doing loads of minecraft videos and when it does come out they're going to do loads of black ops 2 videos as well and hopefully i'll see you guys next episode